Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to be talking about Brizzy.io. Brizzy.io is a next gen website builder that anyone can use and you can create no code websites in minutes. So what we're going to be doing today is showing you how you can create a startup landing page with absolutely no code and you'll see exactly how easy it is to make with Brizzy.io. So let's get right into it. Before we get into the video, we just wanted to say that a large percentage of our viewers are not actually subscribed. So if you're watching this video right now and you like what you see, please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot. Now let's get back to the video. So here we are on the Brizzy.io homepage. It is a no code website builder and as you can see here, it is the best website builder for non techies. It has all these features, a number of templates that we can use, business landing pages, etc. We're going to be going with a landing page here for our startup and we're going to go ahead now and get started. And here we have two options, WordPress and cloud. We're going to go with the cloud option and Brizzy cloud free and get started now. And we'll be taken to the Brizzy.cloud page and here we can get started and then you have to sign up. So let me just do that really quick. And there we go. Now we have created an account and this is our Brizzy cloud dashboard. We're going to close these two tabs right here. And here we can go to create a new project and we have options here for a website or a landing page pop-up or alert and a story but today we're going to be going with a landing page so let's go ahead and create there we go here is our project let's edit the project and there we go here is our blank canvas we can start building our page by adding blocks over here and if you come on the left here we have a few options such as the add elements menu where you can add row columns title posts and different text button icon etc then we have a menu where you can reorder the blocks and also a styling menu where you can choose the current style, different colors and different types of text. And here we have a collaborate option as well. And if you come down here, we can view the website in desktop, tablet or mobile mode. And over here we can see how we can view the page, whether you're logged in or not logged in. So this is our canvas and we can start completely from scratch. But what we're going to be doing is using a template. So if you click here and start building our page, we can see there's a lot of different blocks that we can add to our page. But instead of going for individual blocks, we're going to go for layouts and we're going to look at all the free layouts that we can use. So since our aim is a startup page, let's choose one of these layouts here to showcase our startup. So we have a number of different options here, but let's go with this one, the Supreme layout. As you can see here on the left, it showcases how the template will look and we can import this layout onto our canvas. There we go. Right now, this page is about a agency, a cooperating agency called Supreme, but we're going to change some of these details. So as you can see here, these are the various information that have been provided about this startup. So what we're going to do here is slowly start changing up how this template looks to match our startup. And we're going to say that no code school is a startup. Let's say it's an education startup to teach people about no code tools, which is kind of what we are. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So we have this cooperating agency's name over here. So we're going to change that to say no code school. And we're going to make it so that it extends to over here so that the whole thing fits. And of course we need to change these colors to match our no code school palette. So we're going to go with the purple like that. Okay. And here we have about services and contact and Facebook and Instagram. So we leave this navigation bar as it is. And we come down here. It says hello and welcome. We can keep this text but change the color of it. So it matches a purple. There we go and let's say we are a let's say we are an educational and this is just some random default text that we're going to leave the same over here and let's change the color of this to a purple and here we have this picture on this side so for this picture we can come up here to these settings over here for this block and click it and choose background and we can change it to be an image, a video or a location. We're going to go with image, but we're going to change this image. So let's click this X icon here and upload a different image. Okay, but now this takes up the whole page. So we're going to go here and change the size to auto. Okay, and we have set our image over here. So we come down here to view our services. So there is our basic customization of the Supreme layout to match our no code school aesthetic. 
and this would be the landing page for our potential startup here we have our navigation bar and explanation of what we are and what we do brand identity and the various topics and videos and here's some potential clients what they have said about our business and a contact us page here so now what we can do is save this draft and when you're done with building your website and you want to publish it you can come over here to the bottom right hand side and choose publish page and once you publish the page you can click here and preview it and here we go here this is our page with the navigation bar and the various elements and there you go that's how you create a simple startup landing page using a layout template on brizzy.io with brizzy what you can do is customize your web page not only for desktop but also if you can customize it for tablet and mobile so if you come over here this is what our page will look like in mobile mode as you can see here uh, see this page needs some work so you can change this so that this image that you added doesn't create issues over here and there you go so thanks for watching this video we hope you learned something here today if you liked it don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe as it helps us out a lot leave any other no code tools that you'd like us to cover in the comments down below and until then we'll see you in the next one bye